At least 29 soldiers have been killed in Niger in an attack by a, an attack by a suspected armed group. The defense ministry says it was conducting a military operation against ISIL near the border with Mali at the time. At least three people have been killed in a shooting spree at a shopping mall in Bangkok. Thai police say a 14-year-old suspected gunman has been arrested. Well, the incident occurred at the Cyan Paragon, as one of the city's biggest shopping malls, located in the heart of the capital. CCTV video shows the gunman dressed in khaki cargo pants and a baseball cap. Authorities shared an image of a police officer apprehending the suspect, lying face down on the floor. Now, the UN Security Council has voted to send a multinational force led by Kenya to tackle the violent gangs who now control Haiti. More than 2,000 people have been killed in unrest already this year. Haiti appealed for international intervention a year ago. At least 37 people, including two pregnant women, have been killed after an explosion at an illegal oil refinery in southern Nigeria. According to the country's head of security, the incident happened Monday morning in the Niger Delta region. Illegal refining is common in the oil-rich region of Nigeria, as locals tap pipelines to make fuel, which then can be sold for profit. The illegal practice of extracting fuel can often lead to frequent fires and deadly incidents. In Armenia to show support, the French Foreign Minister Catherine Colonna visited people injured fleeing the fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh and met political leaders. The ministerial visit was a gesture of goodwill, but there was also an offer of arms. French aid will help replace equipment lost by Armenian forces overrun by Azerbaijan's attack on the enclave, an assault that prompted an exodus of 100,000 people. Azerbaijan, meanwhile, has vowed to track down Nagorno-Karabakh's political leaders. In Iran, a 16-year-old girl is in a coma after being assaulted by the morality police. That is according to the Kurdish rights group Hengar. The group says Armita Garawand was attacked in a Tehran subway for violating the Islamic Republic's hijab rules. State media released this edited video of the incident. Iranian authorities are denying the claims, saying she fainted. chopper descends towards a reservoir. The helicopter hits the water hard but manages to pull up into the air. The pilot seems to be trying to regain control but is unsuccessful and the doomed aircraft pitches up and enters an uncontrollable spin as it crashes into the reservoir. The AS-350 helicopter was being tested with a specially rigged hose to draw water from a lake or river so it could be used to fight forest fires. The ill-fated single-engine light rotary aircraft made by Airbus helicopters crashed into the reservoir in Putton, 52 kilometers northeast of Seoul.